morning guys, YouTube people, world, everywhere, wherever. It's been a, a week and a half, two weeks since I did a video. Um, I'm just going to go through real quick stuff we done, did, minus the days I worked. Um, yeah, where do I start? Doing some laundry. Because, uh... Hate. Just always happens to me. But anyway, I'll get to that in a second. Um, yeah. Got the hoses out. <clears throat> See the pile of project for the kids' room is getting smaller. I have a breaker box. Whatever you want to call it. Breaker panel. Whatever. The guys, kids coming out tomorrow to install it. So that means I have to move... Probably all this stuff. Compressors on wheels. I gotta move all this stuff. Um, I'll probably put this concrete stuff in the flooring. As you can see, the flooring pile's gone. Which means I did the flooring. I gotta move all this stuff because he's gonna need access behind here. So, I'm gonna take this sub panel off. Maybe use this sub panel in the barn because I'm gonna run a uh, 220 straight out of this new box for my stuff. Um, we got parts for it. Don't know what that is. It says it's a tunnel thing, a bunch of breakers, and these little heat connectors or waterproof connectors. And he's got some wire coming. Um, but yeah, um, hopefully this is the right one. I don't remember there being four prongs on my glass tube. He took it out. Ah, oh, jeez, man, I wore out. I can barely walk. Um, yeah, hopefully this is four. I'm sure it is because newer style stuff. But anyway, he's going to come in and put that big old huge box in here. He's going to run new three, whatever he called it, three wire, um, three gauge. I think it's three gauge wire is what I'm calling it. But he said three ot wire. What the heck that means? So... Yeah, we got that. I don't know, my shoulder's hurting now. I'm breaking down, people. I'm breaking down. I'm breaking down. First and foremost, I guess, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sticking in. Um, tried buying an, a roofing nailer. Oh, let me get to that, too. Roofing blew off. Um, let me see if I can't find a picture of the roofing so we had some crazy windstorm come through oh, let's see let's see let's see man I don't even know you know what maybe it was in a text message from my kid But yeah, uh, we had a big storm come through, blew the roofing right off, um, a lot of it off. So here you go, there's a picture of our roofing on that room. As you can see they had rolls, rolls of roofing. And this, I didn't touch any of this, this was just from the windstorm. The house roofing is fine, see here's a big chunk of it missing there it's all rolled up in here so anyway um get to that story we uh ended up buying the kid ended up buying some shingles some roofing shingles some paper and i ended up trying to buy a nail gun a bunch of people wanted 150 dollars or more for a nail gun this kit was $608, I think, or $680. And 
and it comes with, oh, I'm going to try to bend down. Uh, it says 36 volt, but I think it's only 20 volt or 18 volt. Um, anyway, the kit comes with the nail gun, roofing nail gun, um, and comes with the saw, a battery, a battery charger, and then inside the box was a paper that says you get a free battery or a free accessory, um, wiring harness, adapter, so that you can use the saw and plug it in, basically like it's regular power. So it's just a little power inverter that converts 120 into 36 or whatever it is, 18 volt, I don't know what it is, but I gotta say it is pretty cool. I did put away all my tools, I put away, I stayed out one night until, I don't even know, midnight and put away tools. Oh, I gotta get to that too. This is something I built because I had to. We leveled the floor with leveling crap and it didn't work. Um, I don't know if it, it just dried too fast or whatever happened, but anyway, wherever I squeegeed it, there was a high line, a line with a high spot in it. So it went, we pushed it, wherever we pushed it, it like was thick, like maybe quarter inch thick. So I created this mon monster. It's, it's a six inch <laughs> craftsman grinder that I've had forever. I took this piece of plywood, cut it into a circle. I bought three of these grinding stones at the swap meet and bolted them. And you can see in, in this middle, it's just a nut that I drilled through the plywood from from this side but I didn't go all the way through and then I pounded the nut through and it worked very very proud of that beast tool it was not, it was not balanced so the thing was all over the place but anyway let's get to Metabo it's a Metabo 18 volt I knew it was 18 volt so it's 36 18 volt it's you can see I got the blade for doing the concrete board the siding I gotta do the siding it has a silent mode which is stupid <laughs> um, click the silent mode the blue light comes on and silent mode not silent mode it just reduces the RPMs, but it's really compact. I like it. I like it. It's a lot more compact than this big old beast. As you can see, they're both the same footprint, but when you add a battery onto this one, it brings this one way back here. So, I like it. It's pretty cool, but, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty cool. I like it. Um, it does not have a little tool belt holder thing like that one does. But I don't wear a tool belt because I'm too cool for belts, apparently. Anyway, so the kit came with that. This isn't a tool review. I'll get to the video in a second. Um, so everybody used nail guns. 150 bucks, 200 bucks. Um, that nail gun by itself, I believe at Lowe's was 249 and the whole kit was 608 Um Yeah, and then I went to Lowe's, the actual Lowe's, because this was all online, I was checking this out. I went to Lowe's and this kit actually was 279 bucks. So, I bought it, obviously. Anyway... So yeah, so here's the room. It's kind of a mess still. So flooring's in, doors painted, trim's done. We got blinds. Let's see. This 
So everything is painted, trimmed. We ended up doing the concrete here. Um, there was a concrete slab. Ended up cutting plywood down. We had a big old gap right there. So did trim, 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 trim. Trim all the way around. Trim, trim, trim. Anyway, here's the nail gun. It's a pretty neat little nail gun. And then, uh, of course, a box of nails. That box of nails for 7,000 nails or whatever it is was only 26 bucks. So, and then this is the roofing paper we used. It's a full synthetic. The stinky white trash neighbors are smoking weed. They smell like freaking dirt skunk. Freaking nasty people. Um, yeah, windows installed, blinds installed. So now I gotta come through. I have to cut these shingles. So as you can see, the roof, roof is wet. Oh man. Oh, of course, I plan on doing a roof. A roofing. Guy at my work gives me a hard time because I say roof. And he says, it's not roof, it's roof. And I say, so you say book instead of book? And you say look instead of look? <laughs> anyway, back to the roof. Roof. <sighs> it's done. It's all done. So we haven't had rain in Southern California for four weeks, maybe five, maybe even two months. And here I go starting the roof, roofing. And I'll show you a little video. So this is the tar paper stuff being put down or the thing. And it was snowing, snowing. It's freaking snowing <sighs> and then yeah by the time we got done by the time we almost finished like probably 99 percent done it stopped raining so anyway roof's done um i just got some trim to do some trimming on the asphalt so what we did i had to do flashing here Metal flashing there, metal flashing on that. Did all new drip cap, drip edge, all the way around. Um, I put the drip edge like eight inches here, all the way across, eight inches there. And then I put the underlayment in all the way on. And then, uh, yeah, just been a pain in the butt and a mess. That's the old roofing right there. So, just wanted to update you guys on what I'm doing. So, the edge of the roof is good. I got good overhang. Um, it's a lot of people said three quarter up to three quarter, so. I'm about half to three quarter all the way across. So now I just need to cut this trim or cut that asphalt. And then uh, cut this asphalt. This side was pretty good until it started raining really bad, which was probably about right here. And I said, I don't care. Just let it overhang. So. And then when we got into there, I wanted to run the full sheets coming out, or not full sheets, but I wanted to come from this way, going this way, as opposed to going in. And then going under here was a pain in the butt. Oh man, I can't even bend over. All this under here was a pain in my butt. Could not get in there with the nail gun. How do you do a nail, hammer nail? Can only swing the hammer about that much. Anyway, that's, the projects I've been doing, the roofing's done, room is done, all I got to do is siding, and uh, 
took a six six day weekend off this weekend so that I could do this. The roof was not part of this whole deal. Um, but yeah, the kid helped out a lot. So now I just gotta clean up. I'm gonna go throw a new razor blade on the razor knife. Pick up some junk around here. Clean up around the yard. And uh, yeah, I say relax, or I'm going to say relax, but that probably won't happen. But anyway, I'm glad that the roof is done. This thing needed a roof. We were going to do a metal roof um, on here, but I couldn't find a way to make it meet the existing roof, the house roof. Roof. Um, I could not find a way or flashing or trim that would do for the, because the, the roofing that we were going to use had ridges in it. It wasn't corrugated like boop, 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 but it was like, solid and then a little line and then solid and then kind of like a EGK monitor um, where it went up and down but anyway uh, I couldn't find a way and uh, we ended up doing six nails per shingle all the way because they say four nails but then in high winds use uh, six nails so we used we did six because Every three to five years, we get some crazy, stupid windstorm that comes in and tears this roof up. So, done. Floor's done. Got done, done, done. So now I've got to do siding and then put that air conditioning unit in. And the kid will be here tomorrow, hopefully, to do the power. Anyway, um, I think we're just going to chill out today. Just do a minimum, and uh, maybe you guys will see some dirt bike riding video since it just rained. It's perfect weather to go ride. Um, it's not dusty. So, anyway, I'm going to get down, change a razor knife, razor blade, and I'm going to cut these before um, somehow this gets ruined. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. You guys have any suggestions, tips, whatever I did wrong? You guys name it. It's in there. Alright guys, see you guys on the next video. Later.